What's going on YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna do a little redneck resurfacing of my rotors here. Uh, this is a do-it-yourself resurfacing. Um, what I'm trying to do here is I've got some brake pulsation in the front brakes and I think it happened because I put brand new pads on the front here without resurfacing the rotors and I think the pad material from the new pads didn't um, get onto the rotor in, a, in an even pattern. So that's what's causing the brake pulsation. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with uh, some, some sandpaper with a drill and see if I can get the old pad material off and get the rotors back to a clean surface to where the new pads can bed in. So what I've done here is I've, I've taken the brake caliper off, you know, the caliper and the bracket and everything. And then I flip the rotor around and I use these uh, nuts that I got at Lowe's to secure the rotor to the hub. And the size that I'm using here is uh, M12-150. And this is on a Honda Pilot that I'm doing this on, but I think this M12-150 is a common size for a lot of Japanese vehicles. Now when you do this, make sure you put something inside the brake caliper, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go inside the vehicle, I'm going to start it, and I'm going to put it into drive. And in order to put it into drive, I'm going to have to tap the brake pedal. And so I want to make sure that there's something in here to prevent the, the piston and the caliper from coming out. So I just stuck a hammer in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the vehicle, I'm going to start it up, I'm going to put it in drive, and then this rotor is going to start rotating. And I'm going to use this kit that I picked up from Harbor Freight to resurface my rotors. So and I'll, I'll keep you in the loop. I'll... Uh, I'll be back here in a minute and show you when this is rotating and when I'm doing the sanding job. All right guys, here's what it looks like with the, the car in, in gear. One of the things that I didn't realize was that it looks like only this right side's gonna spin. So I thought both front rotors would spin, but it looks like just this one side. And uh, another little tip is once you've got this going, to shut the vehicle off, put it in neutral and then turn it off and wait for this to stop spinning. Um, don't try to go to drive to uh, park because it's it's not going to work. Like when you try to go into park, this needs to be stopped. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna hear some grinding. But here's the other side. You see the other side's not moving at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the resurfacing and see how this goes. All right, guys. I've never tried this before, so I've got. I've got the uh, the pad on my drill here, and we're gonna go ahead and try to resurface this rotor. Well, it seems to be working pretty well. I'm gonna keep going and uh, I'll uh, come back and let you know how I'm going. I, st I started out with a, a 60 grit pad and I'm gonna then move down to a smaller, to a, a finer pad and then keep going. Uh, and I'm not sure how long the pads will last, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. All right guys, here's the first pass. It doesn't look too bad actually with the first pass with using a 60 grit. 
Now the only thing is the... Well, I think it's still got some material on it, but I feel like it wore out pretty quickly. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again, and then uh, and then switch over to... This is a 60, so I'll probably go ahead and switch over to 100, and then uh, I think that should be it. Maybe go to 120 for one more pass on it. All right, guys, I'm done doing this one side, and I think it came out pretty good. Uh, hopefully this gets rid of my brake pulsation. Um, I really don't think the rotors are warped. I just think I have pad material that just wasn't laid down correctly during the bedding process. And so I'm gonna flip this rotor around and do the other side, and then we should be good to go. Thanks for checking out this video. All right guys, I flipped the rotor around and now I'm gonna do the front side of the rotor. And I found out it's actually easier to not use the drill on this side, it's easier, easier to use it on the back side. Alright guys, here's how the uh, the front side of the rotor came out. Hopefully that's good enough to get rid of my brake pulsation. Again, I'm just trying to knock off the old pad material. Alright, well I'm going to take this brake rotor off and then do the other side and I should be good to go. Alright guys, here's the other rotor. Um, I spent a little bit more time on this one and it came out nicer than the other one. So I think I'm going to put the other one back on here and take another run at, uh, at the surface. But man, does this work out really well. I mean, it's the rotor is like really nice and smooth. Um, I'm really pleased with it. And these pads, these pads from Harbor Freight are holding up pretty well. Pretty cool. So here's what the rotors look like. After doing my redneck resurfacing on the vehicle, I think they came out pretty awesome. Yeah, that looks awesome. I'll let you guys know in the comments if it uh, took care of my brake pulsation, but I'm pretty sure it's going to, uh, because these look really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna put them back on the vehicle and button everything up.